Hey, what's up, guys? Diamond Gamer Pro here today, and welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to get PKSM, the Pokemon Save File Editor, for free on your Nintendo 2DS or 3DS. All you're going to need for today's video is a computer and a modded 2DS, 3DS. Any of the models work for this one. So, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head to the link in the description below and it will bring you to this website right here. This is for the PKSM download and it will give you the latest update. At the time of recording, which is June 24th, 2020, PKSM 9.1 is the latest version. So, what you're going to want to do is, depending on whether or not you want on your home screen, you can either download the 3DS X for the homebrew menu or the CIA for the home screen. I'm going to be downloading the CIA file because this is what we're going to be using for our home screen. Then what you're going to want to do is simply drag and drop it into your CIA's folder on your th the root of your 3DS's SD card. So we go to the CIA's and PKSM is right inside of there. Now, this is the only thing you actually need to do on your computer. So I'm going to jump over to my 3DS and show you guys what to do from there. Alrighty, so I put my SD card back into my DS. And what you guys are going to want to do is open up the FBI application. If you have a modded 3DS, this should already be installed. And of course, I'll be leaving a link in the description on how to mod your 3DS if you don't already have a modded one. So what you're going to want to do is simply head to the SD section, then CIAs, and find your PKSM CIA. I'm going to install and delete the CIA. It's going to be really quick because it's only 5.88 megabytes. So once the installation process actually starts, this can take a few seconds, it should run through very quickly. This is not sped up in any way, and this is simply as long as it takes. Once we're done, you can press any button, and then just press start to get back to the home menu. Then, once we're here, you guys can see new software has been added, and once we go to unwrap it, it will be PKSM. If I just show you guys my top screen, this is what it looks like. So, just to show you guys that this works, I currently have my copy of Pokemon Moon inside of my 3DS. And we're just going to load up PKSM. This can take a few seconds to up to a minute simply for the first time it's booting up because it has to create some files on the SD card for it to work. And when you get to it, it should see a load screen similar to this one. And it's really hard to show from my camera angle. But within a quick amount of time, you guys should see that it will look something like this. So it's going to be checking the databases for a couple of things and then saving the storage and getting ready for you to play. So as you guys can see right now, the only game we have available is Pokemon Moon. So I'm going to just load the game save file. You can also load other save files that you have saved from my backing up saves video. And as you guys can see, we have everything right here. So if we just go to the editor, you guys can actually see all of the Pokemon that I have inside of my boxes. And if I want to add another Pokemon, simply just go in and press A on a blank spot. And now we can actually edit this and select a new Pokemon to take its place. So I'm actually going to be choosing a Venusaur and leaving it at level 1. Just to show you guys that this is obviously a modded Pokemon. I'm going to save and then we can go back and save it completely by exiting with saving. What you're going to want to do is make sure that you save before exiting. Just simply press the arrow in the bottom right and I'm going to jump into Pokemon Moon to show you guys that my Venusaur has been added. Alrighty, so I've gone back into Pokemon Moon, and here is my PC box, and if you just scroll down, we go to that Venusaur, as you guys can see, it is in fact a level 1 Venusaur, proving that this is definitely a modded Pokemon, and that this method works perfectly. So, I hope you guys do enjoy using PS PKSM, and I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see on the channel, and subscribe. Peace out.